being at our corporation right now. Overall, got a lot to explore. And we're just going to see where the day takes. There's a lot here, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So throughout my exploration, I think I may have stumbled upon the Museum of Modern Art in Mito. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to find out. But while I'm here, I thought I'd just explore the area. Found some really weird things in the lake. Looked like giant swines. Not quite sure what they're doing. And, uh, I mean, just gigantic swines. But while I was here, I thought I'd explore some of the Mito area. And, well, Mito is actually kind of pretty. I mean, I thought that, you know, from all the speculation that it'd be kind of a more industrial town. I guess not. It's actually kind of pretty. Kind of weird. Oh well. While I'm here, somebody help me out. I've seen that building right there like a gazillion times in my walk. No idea what it is. It's a big kind of oddly structured building. I mean it's neat, but I have no idea what it is. So I was right, I did stumble upon the Museum of Modern Art. Ibaraki branch. Maybe one day when Kate and I have a little more free time we can go in and take a look. Right now, I just can't. Oh well. I mean, she's in training and I'm, well, starting my classes, so money's a little tight. And they close at 5, so we probably can't make it today anyway. Oh well, maybe next time. See what else there is to explore, because I still have 
two hours until she's done. See what happens. Of course, what goes with the Museum of Natural Art? Concert all. Of course. Have art, have music. Now the nice thing about this concert hall is that there's also a kind of a base right here. There's a map here, but I can't read what it says. I'm sure future me is gonna take a look and say, oh yeah, I can read that in like five years. Right now, not so much. Oh well. Note to self and pretty much anyone who's watching this, get sunscreen. Here it is, August 31st, 2016. Keats and my two-year anniversary, the end of summer, and my skin is telling me that the sun is very hot. I thought I didn't know that. So still, get sunscreen. Here it is, almost beginning of September, and it's still blazing hot. So just when I'm starting to complain about the lack of seating around here because I wanted a place to sit, I find a nice little park. Got a little playground, got a bathroom, got a construction site. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I'm glad there's no one here, but at least there are benches. So, at least there's that. So while sitting on the park bench, I went through a bit of the video and realized that the first video I shot about me sitting on a bench uh, the very first one was so windy that you couldn't hear anything, so I thought I'd redo it here. And while I'm sitting here, the construction side, there's a cop there, right there, and he probably thinks I'm crazy for talking to a camera. But the thing that I wanted to point out is that I found Mountain Dew. Trust me, I'm happy. It only took me, uh, what, two-hour train ride straight north into the city of Mito to find a machine that actually had any, and I got the last one. And then that machine was out. No more doing that machine. But hey, for, you know, a buck, ain't too bad. What, like 16 ounces? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm not gonna uh, consume it until Kiki gets out of training because, well, I kinda want her to enjoy it as well. You'll know what I mean. I'm gonna give you a good idea about what, it, what the local cicadas sound like. He's up there somewhere. Yeah, that's pretty much every day, from morning until late night. because 7-Eleven's Wi-Fi is kind of iffy. So uh, I'm just going to head back to the corporation and just wait, I guess. Just for everyone who thinks that I'm not a big explorer, from this intersection right here, down that way is the bridge, down that way is the uh, uh, Museum of National Art, down there is the construction site in the park, on that way is the 7-Eleven that I walked to and passed. So, for about three hours, I've explored as much as I want to without getting too lost, because I have to go back to that building. Yeah, I know, it's not much, but I guess I, could just, I, guess I just have to uh, wait out the rest of my 50 minutes. Oh well. Okay, so I lied. I went to the uh, park that I stopped at before, read a little bit of my 
uh, Star Trek book. And now I'm coming back to the office to, well, hopefully pick up Keith, but we'll see what happens. Okay, go. Coming? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so, first do in Japan. Let's crack it up. Not the same, but I needed that. <laughs> and where did we find your do? Why are we in Mito? For your training. <laughs> okay, clarification. I've had training. This is what they dubbed refresh training. We'll walk into it. with my company the school filled out a progress report on me essentially I've been called in just to go over the progress report of why the scores were this way and what do you intend on making better every ALT at least in their first year has to go through this so me no big deal I thought it was like literally going to be training training but uh yeah that's why we're in Mito pretty river and do. Oh, uh, his do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where the adventure started. All here. They look shadows. Yep. <laughs> so, the end of a long day, we are at Koko Ichiba. Ichibanya. Ichi what? Ichibanya. Coco Ichibanya. As a highly recommended restaurant from a certain YouTube couple. Mm. Amy ordered, well, curry. Curry? Curry. The first time I ever heard them mention this place, it was Coco Curry, as they called it. So that's how I know it is Coco Curry, and it's all they sell is curry. All the curry. Oh, the curry. It's crack. You sorry, say what now? Curry, what now? Curry has crack in it. It's so good. We do not validate these statements. <laughs> say again. I'm trying to figure out how to get home. <laughs> because we need to know how to get home. Uh, We're in Mito and we don't know how to get home because getting here was a bit chaotic. Stuff. Still, please wait. Nope, wait, got it. Buy one yet? There's one at 612, which we're probably not going to make. 635. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, we could try and catch the next one to Ueno, which takes us all the way through Chiba. Nope. Oh, that's your Tokyo now. I love the whole music, don't you? Yeah. I beamed her with a plastic straw wrapper. It was hilarious. You hit me. <laughs> straw wrapper. <laughs> she hit me. With a straw wrapper. <laughs> straw wrapper. Yeah. We're gonna go so we can eat and figure out the train situation and we'll be back.
Alright, so we are taking the train the way home, and we are now stopped at Katori for a half hour layover. Yay! Woo! This... Better lighting. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is one of the downsides of not having a car in Japan. Sorry. It's okay. Is the fact that, um, you are bound by a train schedule. It's not bad, it's just you have to wait a while for layovers. Depending on how exactly the trains work. But yeah, so far the trip hasn't been too bad. Our next train should be at about 8.45 here in Tatori. And then it'll take us about 10-ish minutes to get to Omigawa. And then a five minute little bike ride to the apartment. So, how is our second year anniversary going? <laughs> I got to take Kao to Koko Ichibanya. So that was good. Curry was good. Mm -hmm. He wants hotter. Of course he does. We had love for curry, which is a good spicy curry. I told Keith that next time I come here I'm going to make a video. It's like, give me 10. Level 10. I want, I want to try 10. Home. I guess we'll finish everything up when we get back to the apartment. Then. It is 9 o'clock at night. We've been traveling for roughly 11 to 12 hours. And now we're home. Going to take some showers. Fed the kitties. Yay. And take care of a few things along with the fact that my phone is dinging like crazy because I now have internet. Say hi, Keith. Finally. Oh God. So what a way to spend a second year anniversary. But hey, it's only 8 a.m. in America, so we have a whole entire more a whole entire uh, 16 hours left to celebrate, which we'll probably do by sleeping until he does go to work. So until next time, Yamate. Yamate, mm, folks.